You know, when I first created this plant room, I thought these shelves would be more than enough dedicated room for my plants to grow. But over time, I've collected more and more house plants, and now I've come to realize that this room needs to be completed. It needs to be fully optimized for my plants' growth and my enjoyment of them. That's why I'm updating, redoing, and completing this plant room. It's going to take a few days, but I'm excited to make this space the best it can be. I'm starting by painting the room, creating a fresh and clean canvas for my plants to shine against. Then I'm adding new stands, which will allow me to create more room for my plants and make it easier to style them in a way that's aesthetically pleasing. I'll be linking everything in my Amazon storefront for you where I purchased all the stands and different accessories that I'll be using today. And a big part of this plant room redo is that I'm also adding grow lights because I've learned over the many years of collecting that they're incredibly important for house plants. It's not always possible to have enough natural light and even when you do, grow lights can supplement it and give your plants the boost they need to thrive. I'm going to install Soltech Solution grow lights on the side of the room that's currently too dark for my plants. And as you all know, I use all different types and brands of grow lights, but Soltech Solutions are my favorite grow lights and when I knew I was finally going to be completing my plant room I reached out to them and told them about the project asked if they'd like to partner with me and I was thrilled when they said yes so I can't wait to see how much of a difference the grow lights make but you know it's not just about the physical changes I'm making to this room it's also about how organizing my house plants is making me feel excited to care for them again now, when you have a lot of plants like I do, it can be so overwhelming to keep track of their individual needs, but by grouping them together by their light and humidity requirements, that kind of thing, I'm able to care for them more efficiently and effectively. I've also been thinking a lot about the 1% rule, also known as the rule of marginal gains. It's the idea that big goals, like this room, can be accomplished by taking small steps every day. It's easy to get overwhelmed when we're faced with big projects like this. I know that's the reason why I've held off on this project for so long. But by breaking it down into manageable pieces, I'm able to progress and feel good about what I'm accomplishing. And I think that's something that we can all apply to our lives, not just when it comes to our houseplants. Many of us spend so much of our energy investing in everything and everyone else that it's hard to have the time and the energy to invest in the most important thing, which is ourselves. But if we take the small steps every day towards our goals, we can accomplish great things. So that's why I'm updating, redoing, and completing this plant room. It's not just about the plants themselves, although they are a big part of it. I'm also... It's also about taking the time to invest in something that brings me joy and making it the best it can be. I cannot wait to see the final result and to continue caring for my plants in a space that feels like a true sanctuary and sharing it with all of my amazing plant friends and our wonderful plant community. The painting is done. I stayed up late last night and I painted the ceiling, I painted the walls. I love the color. It's just white and it just looks so much better than that like mustardy yellow color. And so now I have to bring all of my plant stands back in and I'm gonna start putting together my new plant stands and bringing them in. This is one of the new stands that I ordered from Amazon. I love it so much. It was really easy to put together and it has little hooks that I can hang and my plants are gonna be just so happy right here in the window and that I can still hang. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna still hang plants up on this curtain rod here. So yeah, I think it's fabulous. I am so relieved. I thought this plant stand was gonna to be too small. It was so easy to put together. I'm shocked and it's the perfect size as well. Like I could easily fit 10 plus plants on here. It's been a few days I managed to bring all of my plants in here and today's the day that everything gets finalized. I'm so, so excited to share with all of you. I'm trying to decide if I should do three grow lights or just two grow lights. Um, 
I'll probably go with three because I know I can always turn one off and I don't want to have to add a third and adjust all the lights again, that makes sense. So yeah, I'm excited to set it all up. These are my all time favorite grow lights. I use all different types of grow lights. These are definitely my favorite. Um, I knew that when I wanted to redo this room and really set something up that Soltech was who I wanted to work with. So in talking with them, they were so nice to sponsor this video and work with me on setting up my room. So big thank you to them. I've worked with them for a while and these lights are insane. I have one in my dining room and that's how I knew I wanted to set them up on this plant wall. So there were two different options. I was either going to do this one or this option. This option would have been great as well, except that I have a fan in the way. This is also so easy to set up. It's gonna take me no time at all. This is what it looks like. It's so sleek and elegant. I mean, it's number one recommended by interior designers. It's obvious to see why. It can be hung from the ceiling, but I've decided to hang it using a wall mount. Um, that's what I did in my dining room and it worked out great and it was super easy to install. It also comes with a timer. And if you do decide you want to hang it from the ceiling, it comes with hooks and everything. Look how cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. I am going to do three of them, like I said, and then if I need to turn one off because it's um, too much light, I can. And it does tell you on the box, like based if you have like philodendrons or cacti or um, begonias, like, it, like how to hang it and where to put the light. It's gonna be so jungly in here. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. <laughs> so exciting. I'm ready to be done with this project and share it with all my plant friends, so. Yeah. Yeah, three is a good choice. Hurrah, hurrah. This looks amazing. <gasps> Hell yes. Woof woof. I'm so happy. And it's getting light to every piece of the plant stand. And it's not too bright. I'm glad I did three. <gasps> this is gonna look so sick. So sick. It's gonna look so good. So good, so good, so good. It's gonna look so good. Here, we'll do a selfie together. <laughs> I know, I'm such a dork. It's cute though. I think I'll post that on Instagram. It looks so cute. Now, I don't know that these plants are gonna live here and I'll probably over the next couple of weeks move everything around. But for today, I'm just like putting everything wherever without like a, a big plan. But I will get a plan together. Oh, I hurt my hip the other day. And do you know how I hurt my hip? I was standing, yeah, just standing having a nice old time standing still and I hurt my hip. So. Welcome to 37. Where's my marker? Why do I lose everything all the time? I forgot where I put it. Standing on the stool trying not to break my neck. Trying not to break my neck. Where did I put my marker? New marker song. I don't hurt my hip again. Oh. God bless me, cause I'm falling and falling. Where's my drill? Where's my drill? Oh, cut my finger with the ruler. Okay, Ashley, this is it. Oh my god. It's my favorite marker. Okay. Oh, So as a lot of you know, I had a horrible thrips outbreak in here, like last year. And so many of my plants struggled. Like all the new growth was just not new growthing, just really like shriveled up, messed up, just the new leaves looked awful. Like on some of my plants, you can still see the damage, but I used Bonide systemic granules and it solved the problem. Like it took, it took like six months, but every six to eight weeks I just put new granules and now all my plants are like, I don't knock on wood, I don't see a thrip, I don't see any problems, um, it got rid of all of the issues that I had. And so for the first time in like over a year, my the new growth on my plants is looking so good. So I'm pumped for this year and to see what happens with all of these plants. It's gonna be so cool.
Look at that. It looks so good. Coming along, coming along. Yes. Oh, look at all this room. Have I mentioned how good it looks? As part of this project, I purchased these from Amazon. There are these little hooks, little push pins, and you push them in and then it has the little hook on there. And I just did it over here on my plant and it worked so great. Today's the final day. I'm doing all the really fun finishing touches. First thing I'm doing is putting up this beautiful artwork. My mom paints and she did this one a while ago. It's called Caribbean Corner and she does limited edition prints. And I just thought this would be so perfect for this plant room. So I'm going to hang it up. I put her Instagram here. She does so much beautiful artwork and I have never really mentioned her before, but it's like she'll be in here with me all the time. I'm so excited. I have these beautiful wall hanging propagation bubbles and I'm gonna hang them on the wall. They are glass, so you know, have to be careful when you're taking them out of the packaging, but I ordered them from Amazon. They come in a pack of six. This is what it looks like in the packaging. I also want to point out I'm going to be using these timers for all of my lights. They're great because they have the three prong. They're not just the two prong. They're also smart timers, so you can set it up using an app on your phone. I can turn them off. I can turn them on. They can be timed. And I like that it's this. it comes with a pack of four. Ordered them on Amazon. Again, everything's linked. So... So here's the finished plant room transformation. I'm so excited to show you all the changes I've made in here. As you can see, I've added new shelves, grow lights, paint, and even some beautiful artwork by my mom. I will continue to add pots to my plants and move the plants around over the coming days. Now this room's always been important to me, but now it feels even more special. I love spending time in here surrounded by all of my plants and the new additions make it feel like a true sanctuary. With the new propagation stations, I can easily propagate my plants and create new ones to add to my collection. And the new Soltec Solution Aspect Grow Lights are going to make it much easier for my plants to thrive and grow. But the real reason why I'm so happy about this room is that taking the time to prioritize something important to me is going to be good for my mental health. We all have things that make us happy, and for me, it's my plants. So my message to you all is this, take the time to prioritize what makes you happy. It doesn't have to be a plant room, it can be anything that brings you joy. And when you make that a priority, you'll find that it has such a positive impact on your mental health and overall happiness. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed seeing my plant room transformation and that it inspires you to create a space that makes you happy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more houseplant content and inspiration and join us on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye. Bye.